we have for our special guest tonight, former CIA director John Brennan. Uh, director Brennan is the first in what the president has threatened will be a long line of current and former senior law enforcement and intelligence officials whose security clearances the president plans to revoke. Uh, Director Brennan, thank you very much for being here tonight, sir. I know you have choices about where to be. Thanks for being here. No, thanks, Rachel, for having me on. Um, so he's in an uncomfortable chair. He's not really relaxed. So uh, you were CIA director from uh, 2013 to January of 2017. Right. You were President Obama's counterterrorism and homeland security advisor. Uh, you were 25 years as a CIA officer um, before that. You have been through some stressful situations in your life. Um, and he smiles through it. She's the trigger words of emotion are being used. Hard times, stress, trigger words. How has it been these past couple of days since the president singled you out for, for attack and, and punishment in this way? It's fine. I, as far as I'm concerned personally, I'm fine. It's not unexpected. Uh, he had signals that something like this was going to happen. He's in portrayal. He's being stiff. Nobody, though, got in touch with me from the White House or CIA since it was first. That part is true because he gave movement on it. He let go of that stiffness just for a little bit. Just noted that my security clearance was under review. I learned about it when somebody called me to say that Sarah Huckabee Sanders was. That part is not true. That's deception. Was announcing at the podium that those clearances were revoked. Uh, again, I was not shocked uh, for a couple reasons. One, there was a heads up. But secondly, I'm not shocked, quite frankly, at all the appalling things that Mr. Trump has done. And more trigger words. So Brennan is actually also playing the emotional card. And so I think this is uh, an egregious um, act that it flies in the face of traditional practice, as well as common sense, as well as national security. I think that's why there's been such a outcry uh, from uh, many intelligence professionals, uh, not to support me, but to support the principle that security clearances are something that's very, very solemn and sacred and they never, ever should be used for political purposes, either to grant friends those clearances or to revoke clearances of your career. So we see a whole lot of portrayal and stiffness through there. It makes me think that he's used them for exactly what he just said you shouldn't use them for. Are you considering legal action or do you think you have a, a, a legal right to exert against the president's actions here? Well, I think, as you can imagine, a number of lawyers have uh, reached out to say that uh, there is a very strong case here. Not so much to reclaim mine, but to prevent this from happening in the future. Mm -hmm. And so I, I am thinking about what it is that I might want to do uh, at this time. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that the principle is what is going to be defended and supported. And uh, Very stiff and still in portrayal. And because of the words coming out of his mouth, because it doesn't seem very anything in there to be deceptive about, it makes me think that they've got a contingency plan that he's working on. This, this is something that should not be repeated. The other people on the so-called enemies list now, um, I think this is just another example of Mr. Trump trying to... And he keeps shrugging his shoulders. He keeps doing this. It's that I'm distancing myself, the other people. That's what that is. I'm going to distance myself. There's actually some, some news about him tonight that I want to get your reaction to. It's just broken within the last hour or so. Um, but, but among this list, you appear to be first. The president is threatening to revoke everybody else's security clearances. He acted against you. Do you have a sense of why the president uh, thinks you're so special? <laughs> why he has, <laughs> why he's started with you? It, it, I mean, and I, I don't know. I guess I don't know if I'm asking about something personal. I guess the way that I imagine this might go is that there might be something that that you know or that he knows that you know that might be making him particularly angry. There's the marshmallow fluff with the emotional triggers. Particularly nervous. I don't know what it is that's motivating Mr. Trump to focus on me. And he lied. Deception, portrayal, shrug of the shoulders in. Oh, no, let me hide my neck. He knows exactly what he did. He knows exactly what he's doing. I don't think anybody should be surprised that this individual acts the way he does. And this guy doesn't have a belief system. Well, not in the sense that liberals have a belief system. He's just manipulating and using people for his own power-hungry motives. Yeah, at first, um, I met Mr. Trump only once at Trump Tower in early January 2017 mm. when we briefed him on the intelligence community assessment on Russian interference election. That's the only interaction I've had with him ever. Now, I have been out. And he knows he's being deceptive in that. And you see the stillness come through in the portrayal and the believe me look. All of it. That's using emotion to trigger. 
That's the only interaction I have. Forget about all the stuff that I do outside his window. Do you think that John Brennan's hyperbole is an issue here? Is one of the reasons we're having this crisis? He's doing the mirror look. That's what he keeps looking at when he goes to the corner. He sees himself and everybody likes pretty. Well, I, I, I think it is. And he looks at himself continuously. Believe me, look, it makes him uncomfortable. Uh, I think, um, you know, John uh, is, is... And then he looks away. Sort of like a freight train and mm -hmm. he's going to say what's on his mind. So you see the believe me look, believe me look brings out more your truth. And when you do believe me look, if you're lying, you're doing it by omission, but you're doing it uncomfortably, which is why we see him keep adjusting himself. He's uncomfortable with what's being said out of his mouth. Does not necessarily mean deception. Could be that, you know, he's saying something he knows Brennan won't really like. Stand by me, man. Uh, I think, though, that the common denominator among all of us that have been speaking up, is, though, is genuine concern about the jeopardy or threats to our institutions and values. And although we may express that in, in, in different ways, and I think that's what this... And we see that roll around the Bibles, although we may express that in different ways. He doesn't want to... He he's starting to stay away from it. Get away. Roll around my eyeballs. Stay away. This really is about. But John and, and his rhetoric has become, uh, I think, an issue in and of itself. And then a whole bunch of blinking because he's hiding. He doesn't want to be in this. He doesn't want to talk about this. This whole clearance being taken away has made him uncomfortable. If you are interested in learning more about the techniques Mandy uses to analyze body language and deception, there is now a video course along with the practice videos available on her website for Gold subscribers. There is also other content such as the Crime Series, An Interesting Mind Series and monthly podcasts available to both Gold and Silver subscribers. Without further ado, back to the video. Privileges and rights, and these are all getting confused uh, under this administration with people thinking that because something was a norm means that it's, it's law. That's not the case. A lot of these people that have these security clearances, and this is the secret in, in, in the swampy Washington, D.C., they have them and they keep them because it's profitable for them after they leave government. Be you see the look on Mud's face. He's got his little angry face on, lips curled down, eyes curled down, jaw set. Because if you have a security clearance, especially high-level security clearances, your contracts and your... Cons Acting out some kind of surprise. Consulting gift pay you a lot more money because of the access that you have. I hope the president continues to do this, and I hope he adds Omarosa to the list, because if she has a clearance, she too, because of her actions, uh, should have it revoked. Well, I don't know if I'd put Omarosa in the same category of the 75 people who signed those letters, but Phil Mudd, I imagine you want to react. Profitable Paris, when I am requested to sit on an advisory board, let me ask you one question. This is fake anger. When I see this fake anger, and as much as he's doing it, and as comfortable as he continues to do this fake anger, it tells me this is not the first time, that this is pretty much normal. And here we are talking about using your security clearance for profit, and he's acting this way. So we're getting close to something he's doing that's wrong. And so he deflects with fake anger. Question, how much do you think I'm paid to do that at the request of the U.S. government? Give me one answer and you got 10 seconds. How much? I'll and you see how comfortable he stays in it. Normal people don't hold on to an anger like this, and it's just solid anger. I'm going to keep my face this way. I'm going to keep my eyes this way. Just going to stay that way. That's not normal. You're in and out of it. In and out. So for Mud to stay this way, it says, hmm, this is not real. If I'll ask you a question. How much are you paid for your Answer the question. contracting gig? For, for being a for being I have a no contracts with the U.S. government that pay money. I'm not talking zero. And this is the thing. When I'm not talking when I'm about asked what the to offer advice to the U.S. government, Phil, I let's get be paid honest. zero. Phil, let's be That's honest. It. I'm not talking about you. And now we're trying to scream over the individual who's speaking. Fake anger to cover up getting close to a crime or something that is unpleasant. Now he keeps going on about the U.S. government not paying him. When we all know that CNN has him on there and pays him. <laughs> for his security clearance and who knows anybody else because he keeps telling it's not the u.s government so is it foreign governments <laughs> if you liked it leave a like if you like the content please subscribe using this link via specific feeds you'll be sent notifications to the full length videos and won't mysteriously be unsubscribed either if you select single email the notification will get to you much quicker 
However, if you select newspaper, the notifications are sent out the same time every day, which is around 7 a.m. American time. And you'll be sent a link to watch the full version of these videos and ones that can't make it to YouTube for free. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.